Hey guys, John here. Welcome to 5 Minute Presets. Let's see what we can get done in 5 minutes in pigment. So let's start the clock. Here we go. New preset and let's see what we have. Let's go to an analog engine. Well, that's uninspiring. Let's go to an MS-20. God, I love this filter. All right, let's get an envelope to open this guy up. Okay, so let's get some texture in here with a wavetable, something like that. Let's see what we can do here. Pigments 4. What's classic with the twist sound like? Ooh, I kind of like that here. Let's put the same envelope. Let's get a macro as a sign already here. Here, cut off here, cut off. Resonance going. Oh my god, three minutes. Okay, we need some attack for this thing here. So let's go to our transients. I like wood, <laughs> don't we all, right? Okay, wood here. Let's send that to the different filter because we want those harmonics, right? I should only trigger with that. Let's do it with a tighter envelope, something like that. We don't want tight envelope on our wood, okay? That's the that's the goal here. Let's get some more of that. Okay, so let's go here and let's change this to an EQ. Let's get some of that mud out of here. Something like that. Let's take that out. Let's turn this bad boy down. Let's get a where are you? Multiband compressor. Ooh, some Chorus Juno 6 here. Now, this is that cool little trick, right? So we have our Phase 180. Let's bring the wet down just a little bit. Is that another Chorus down over here? Chorus Juno 6. Let's bring that down here and also change the phase here. Is that a delay? Where is our delay? Let's go something like this. Maybe an eighth note. To get some of that, some of that mud, that grossness down here. Maybe some reverb might be nice on that. Let's break the rules a little bit over here. So reverb, let's take out some of this, some of this. Let's bring down our decay, maybe our size a little bit. Okay, maybe a little bit of portamento might be kind of nice on something like this. A little too much, let's bring it down. Okay, 48 seconds, let's try to get our effects macros done here. So let's use ma macro number four because I like doing that. I'm gonna put that on the Juno 6. The other Juno 6 right over here. The, oh my God, the delay here. The, and the reverb down over here. Let's go over here. What is this? 24%, let's bring this down. Bring that down to 24. What's the next one over here? This is 25, 30 seconds. Oh my God, okay, 30, whatever, that's fine. Delay is going to be 20, okay, 20. Right over here, Re reverb, what is this gonna be? 25, boom, 25, that's already fine. Let's bring this up here, effects, something like that. 15 seconds, what could we use macro three, four? Oh, you know what? Throw some FM on that bad boy, boom. Right here, double click, FM. 
And there we go. Seems something like that's kind of cool. Okay, time is up. All right, let's see what we got here. Let's bring this up a little bit here with a traditional thing that I like to do here. So let's go to our filter. Let's go to EQ2. Kind of just bring the overall level up a little bit. See how our macros turned out here. Our cutoff. And then our effects. Sweet, I think we did it here. So what should we name this one? What does it sound like? A wet bass. More so a soggy bass. I call it soggy bass. Soggy bass. And what's kind of cool with a really quick plucky thing like this here, we can always go into the sequencer, enable this bad boy. Or even in the arpeggiator. All right, so that was the first five-minute preset. This one actually kind of came out pretty cool. I'm going to save this preset and leave the sequencer ARP on just in case if you want to use it. But if you don't want to use it, you can keep it off here. So uh, yeah, this one's going to be soggy bass. So <laughs> yeah, that was pretty fun. Thanks for watching.